Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. Let's take a look at the negative externalities of consumption graph, and we're going to limit this video to just how we're going to draw it. Okay, so remember, there are many things that, we are, that, when, that when they are consumed adversely affect third parties. So consumption of things, say cigarettes, that affect third parties in a negative manner. Those could be things like smoking cigarettes. Those could be like, you know, driving a car and air pollution, loud music and noise pollution. All right, so let's take a look at the graph. And here, because we know it's consumption, we know that we're going to move the marginal social benefit uh, curve and or the marginal private benefit curve. Because of consumption, we know that one of these two lines, and remember I've told you to think about these two lines as being on top of one another, and one of them is going to shift. In this case, the marginal private benefit is going to shift outward. Okay, And so the marginal social cost curve is this curve over here, and before the, extra, the consumption of a cigarette and, and the creation of a negative externality, there's a, there's a market equilibrium of P1Q1. But once someone starts to smoke, they fire up their cigarette, the marginal private benefit is actually greater than the marginal social benefit, which is to say that the person who is smoking is enjoying that cigarette more. Maybe you could think of it that way. That's kind of a backwards way of thinking about it, right? But the smoking of that cigarette is causing um, a negative, having a negative impact on the social benefit of those around them. So originally the market equilibrium price was P1, price quantity combination was P1Q1, and now you can see it's moved out to P2Q2, and so there has been a welfare loss as a result of the negative externality of the consumption of this case of a cigarette. Okay, so now we're going to talk about ways in which the government can fix this problem, because this welfare loss, this black triangle here, is representative of lost welfare as the result of someone smoking a cigarette in the example I'm using. Okay, so let's take a look. So here's one way the government can do it, and that is to implement an indirect tax, right, on the suppliers of cigarettes. And the reason they would do that is it's going to push the marginal social cost curve up, the amount of the tax. And if you remember from our tax uh, lessons, or the, you remember what happens when the tax, it pushes the cost per unit of the cigarette upward. And the hope is that you push the cost upward enough so that demand or the quantity consumed in the marketplace drops from Q2 to Q1. And you can see the goal here is this point A, which is allocative efficiency, right? Social allocation of resources, the maximum social outcome, right? And so that is one way of, of doing it. The other way they could do it would be to have, a say, a negative advertising campaign against smokers. And one thing they could try to do is try to take this marginal private benefit, which is greater than the marginal social benefit, and by educating smokers and so that they find out that by smoking a cigarette they're causing cancer, they're damaging the lungs of their children who are sitting around the dinner table, they can start to move this curve, the marginal private benefit curve, back. And as they do that, let's say they, they manage to get it to here, right, then they have they have reduced the, the, the welfare loss, or it's also called deadweight loss, right? Because now the size of this triangle would only be that great as opposed to the whole area. Okay, so if you look at the... And I made a little mistake down here. This should say negative advertising campaign. But you can see whether there's a tax on cigarettes or a negative advertising campaign to stop people from smoking. The goal is to get the output from Q2 back down to the, to the socially optimal point of Q1, P1. And they can do that, do that through a tax, or they can do that through a negative advertising campaign. Okay, so I hope you thought this video was helpful, and we'll talk to you in a bit.